Hi viewers, welcome to Black Test. If you are running a laboratory or you want to start a laboratory, the basic question you need to procure for your laboratory is the hematology analyzer. This hematology analyzer is the machine in which you're going to do the basic complete blood count. Any fever patient to even detecting a cancer can be done with this simple CBC test. Every physician would be asking you this CBC test and you need to have this hematology analyzer to report the CBC test. In a CBC, usually we have around 12 parameters on a regular basis, which includes the hemoglobin count, the total WBC count, the RBC count, the platelet count, and the different WBC count. We usually have two types of uh, cell counters done is the three part cell counter, five part cell counter, and also we have a six part cell counter, six or seven part cell counter. The major difference between this is the number of WBC parameters. In WBC parameters, or we call it as the white blood cells, in a three-part cell counter, it is given as three parameters, that is a mixed cell, a granulocytes, and a, a lymphocytes. In a five-part cell counter, all these five WBCs are given as individual parameters. In a six or seven part cell count, we also get nucleated RBCs and abnormal cells. This is usually only asked in a referral laboratory in a very big center only. The six or seven part is needed. There is no major difference in the quality of the reports. It is only the WBC parameters which is going to be different. If you see in a small laboratory, the usually the patients come in for a walk-in for either testing a fever or you know master health checkups. These patients, a three-part cell counter report is more than enough. So what is the cost you need to you know invest for these cell counters? A three-part cell counter usually begins from around 2.5 lakhs and go, goes up to 3.5 lakhs. And the difference between a three-part cell counter and a five-part cell counter is only about 2 to 2.5 lakhs at the maximum. Apart from the investment cost, we usually have the running cost. In a three-part cell counter, usually we need a cleanser, lysing solution, and a diluent solution. In a five-part cell counter, as I said, it is going to give five parameters. It is going to differentiate the WBCs and it is going to give you. So extra, we need a differential lysis solution, as the term says. So we'll be needing to buy a differential count solution also, along with all these three in a five-part cell counter, which is going to be on a bi-monthly basis, an extra of around 5,000 to 8,000 rupees. If you are having a very small laboratory or you're beginning your diagnostic center business, it is advisable for you to go in for a three-part cell counter. When you have a mid-sized laboratory, you have to go in for a five-part cell counter. Even a large laboratory would go in for a five-part cell counter. You are just one of a referral kind of big laboratory or you own a 100-bedded hospital, it is advisable to go in for a six or seven part cell counter. These are the machines, are the top player companies, the manufacturers of the hematology analysis in India and service is good from all these people, Pan India. I hope I've been clear and I have given you a clarity regarding which machine you have to choose for your center. If you have any doubts upon procuring which machine is best suited for you, you can definitely contact us in the email pathlabstartup at gmail.com or our number is also displayed below. You can definitely WhatsApp us. Thank you for subscribing us and providing us so much of opportunities Pan India to serve all of you in establishing your own center. And this is a good news from our team Blacklist. We have also expanded our services and have also signed contracts internationally for establishing various diagnostic centers in the international level. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you with another topic tomorrow.